Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is The Road to the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games and a hunt for the best score of the Decathlon. If you like what you see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is Draft Day Sports Pro Golf. I'm into the 34th week of the Gaming Decathlon, and this is episode number 4 in the new series. And I'm sorry to say this, but yet again, and for about the 12th time now, I'm going to go ahead and start over. New career. This was a difficult choice for me. After I finally found what I believe to be the only route to success. regarding playing on very hard. After sorting that out, I felt satisfied, felt content, felt that that was the way that the channel was, or the series, uh, was going to go forward. That was my expectation. Uh, however, now I come into it with different expectations. Here's what, here's why. Uh, if you didn't see the first three episodes, very short summary, on very hard, this game cannot work as a management game. It must be played in its simulation format. Otherwise, you will never make a cut, and somewhere around the first or second season, your character will go completely broke. So they will not uh, succeed. Guaranteed. That was a real bother for me. the only way that I could make it work was as a simulation. Here's the thing. There are a lot of golf games available. What is unique about this game is it's a sports management. It's a golf management game. That's why I picked this game up. It's in my sports management category. Now there's a chance that through this change, through this overhaul, picking this particular game up there's a chance that I might drop my strategy section altogether at some point go entirely sports cross my mind I thought about it long and hard, and if I do, it would be a sports simulation category. And I'd be more than happy to have a golf game for a sports simulation category. Uh, and, and feel free to mention in the comments if that's actually something you really want to see, because that can influence uh, that decision down the road. But, I picked this game up as a sports management game. That is my intention on how to play it, what to do with it. So that's the purpose. With that being said, this game needs to be a sports management game for me, for this series. That is my intention. It's going to take a million times longer to try to play it as a simulation game. And if I'm going to do a simulation, I want the real thing, not a text-based one. This is a text-based game, and that's what I want right now, but I want it as a management game. But it can't happen on very hard. So we're going to try hard. 
that's quite a bit more budget than what I had previously. And now, there's slim hope of making a cut. And hard might be too difficult. There's a chance that if I don't succeed on this one, on hard, that we're going to have to try normal. But at some point, I've got to have a golfer who is good enough to make a cut, which means make a paycheck, which means have a chance at success in this game. Very hard is going to be simulation only. So moving on, next strategy, next tactic. Sorry for the long explanation, but here we go. With more money to spend, see, on very hard, it's 210000 less. That's a big chunk of change, and I'm going to have to turn that into something viable. And if I'm going back to simulation only, uh, management only, <laughs> there we go, I've got to find something that works. Uh, don't need a lot of power. That's something you can overcome. It's going to cost you the occasional stroke, but only occasional. So we'll keep that one in the low category. Uh, recovery is another one. If you're not in the deep stuff, if you're not in the sand, you don't need it. So if your other shots are good enough, Recovery is not going to come up very often, so I'm going to keep that one low. Short irons, I will keep low. Long irons, and mid-tier. I want my woods, wedges, I want my putting, I want my mechanics to be strong, be mental. Let's keep that one low or low-ish. Try 25. Consistency. 30. All right. That's a good amount to spend on four categories. Let's see what happens if I put them all at say 40. We'll see how much we have left. And then go from there. A lot. That is fantastic. Big difference. Okay, what happens if we get them all to 50? Or let's say. Yes, no, I need to be good on. I've got to be good on my 50. Putting. We'll already start bumping that one up higher. Mechanics. We'll stop at 50 on mechanics. I think we'll stop at 50 on wedges. If you're really good on a putter, you're gonna. S no, I don't know. Wedges. If you get close and have a good putter, you're gonna save so many strokes. That's one. That's 15, 20 strokes around that you can save if you're really good with the wedge and the putter. So we're going to kind of max these out. 60, 60. I don't know if I should go any higher than that right now. It's what, 8,000 per point right now? So meaning I could get 10 more. I could go 65, 65. Do I want to invest it? I can say woods or consistency. Or even mental for that matter. Let's invest a little more there. That's just 5,000. A little more there. Okay, we still have 60,000 now. 55. Okay. 8,000 a point. Okay, get 
that to 63. Get this to 62. Now 5,000 to spend. There we go. Okay, strong with the wedges, strong with the putting. Definitely looking to save some strokes there. Pretty decent on the woods. Not so good with the irons. Not so good with the power. Awful at recovery. But mechanics are okay. Some consistency. That hopefully is enough to. Uh, make the occasional cut at this point. All right, here we go. Again, sorry if you were excited by that prospect of playing round by round, but like I said, I, I see this as a management game. That is the purpose of this series. And if I play it as a sim, well, it's not a sim. This game's not a sim. It might have the option, but that's not not the kind of sim that I'm excited by. So, still want to train. Still want to try to improve. And I don't want to go dead broke either. So, uh, let's see. Quick look at the emails. We've seen this all before. If you haven't seen it, take a look at the other. Uh, videos in the series as I'm kind of leading towards this point. Okay, I'll hire that. Okay, Ryan Thompson. Uh, let's go with 1,000 per session. That way we can afford to uh, play quite a few rounds and see how we're looking on that making a cut. And I'll go with the same ones. Okay, uh, the club and ball familiarity. There's a good chance that it's going to take a little while and that that'll help me save some strokes down the road. So again, reason to stay alive a little bit longer. And here's another piece of news. Uh, lowering the difficulty level increased the cash flow. We've got 67,000 left. So it looks like we started with about 70,000. Yes. We started with 70,000 instead of 50,000. So there's another uh, reason to believe that there's a chance. by lowering the difficulty level by one. Yes, I wanted to find a way to succeed it very hard, but if you watch the other episodes, you can see that, yes, the frustration, but more importantly, uh, the absolute wholehearted attempt uh, to find a balance, to find a way uh, to succeed purely on management, but on very hard it's impossible on this game or at least near impossible I can't say it's truly impossible I don't work for Wolverine Studios I'm not a coder I don't know what's written into the code but I certainly tried every angle I could think of to make very hard work and came to the conclusion that the only way to make that work was to do the simulation side of it and get really good at it. All right, enough enough rambling. I will move on. Uh, so we need to train. Uh, we'll train a couple times a week, and we'll hit up practice rounds and rest a couple times a week. Uh, tournaments aren't going to play until later on. There is still one thing I need to do as commissioner: edit schedule, randomize the courses. The game comes with two courses. I have an additional three unlocked. But to get those other three courses in, 
you need to do it yourself. Alright, so here we go. Uh, we will sim through. Training session. Practice room. These are the basic achievements every time you start the game. Copper star. That's all we've picked up so far is one star. Funding's already under 60,000 now. And it's only November. Apparently there was a tournament for someone, somewhere. Uh, but for the junior tour, we don't get another tournament until, what, February? Five copper stars so far that I've picked up. It would be nice if there was something a little bit better than that, especially with our funds dwindling quickly. But I'm still above the starting point on very hard, so I'll take that. December. Get to January before I take our first look uh, at our character, but I am going to end up having to sell most of these to recover. Uh, but the thing is, is we drastically need character to improve, uh, which means I honestly need to spend those on improvement. Not okay. We're into the. Uh, the break, finally a bronze star. Now into January, and a silver star. Thank you very much. New year, we're apparently training a little bit better. It's January 12th, uh, let's look at the schedule before we go on. It's, ah, okay, we are into that first week, so it is time. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the profile. Here's what we started with. Here's what I've earned. I still have 38,000. I'm going to invest all of it into upgrading. So I have 10 copper stars, two bronze stars, one silver star. I'm going to do everything I can to get us in a position to hopefully make a cut. We'll see how far we are off if we don't make it on this one and see whether we need to kind of train down to the end. or see where we're at. Uh, so for the copper stars, that is anything that is below the mark of 30. Once you hit 30, you move into uh, bronze range. So short irons. We're going to get short irons all the way up to 30. Okay, so short irons, plus five. Recovery is the only thing left. So we're going to go with recovery. This will also nearly max out copper stars, which would mean in the future any copper stars would be sold. Which they only earn a thousand in return. Uh, but there's still going to be five points to go here on recovery. All right, so recovery is up to 25 now. That's a little better. I have two bronze stars. So this is the 30 to 55 range. Woods is already maxed out on that. Uh, we still have the irons. Uh, mechanics is not matched, maxed, maxed out. So let's go ahead and go with mechanics. And one silver star. Uh, so that is woods, wedges, or putting. Let's 
go ahead and which is her putting which is her putting Go with the wedges. That's where you stand to lose more. All right. Golfers a little bit better. The overall a little bit better. <laughs> Still not good. But does that help us get a little closer to making a cut for the first time? Let's we'll find out. It is tournament day. Uh, we will play around, but not play the round. It will be AI controlled. This will give us an indication of where we're at. It's sunny, but it's a windy day. Uh, we're at the Florida Bay course. I have uh, Kyra Sakoto and Kyron Mansfield. So Kai and Kai, we're going to go with AI control. And we head to the first tee. Okay, we are going to be in blue for this round. That was us. <laughs> uh, we were the ones who went over the trees, but great second shot to get back on. And there's our wedge shot. We are on the green in three. This is a par five. Great shot. Great fourth shot that should put us uh, in easy par position. And there we go, we're even after one, despite a horrible first shot. Right on the fairway. On the first shot this time, and a great second shot. There you go, improving that wedge is really, really paying off. Actually, I didn't even see what we were shooting with. That might have been out of the range for a wedge. This is a par 4. We've got a really good chance at birdie, but no, that's our fourth shot. We missed that short putt. Apparently we missed our short putt and had to take a second to finish it off. Uh, we are on the green and one on this one. Here's our second shot, and it's in. We got a birdie. Again, that is that is a testament of the high putting level. Uh, when I played before, we weren't making any of those putts. Okay, second shot, a little bit wide, but uh, third shot is still a relatively easy one unless, the, unless it's too thick. It was a light rough. Not a good shot on that one, though. So our fourth shot has us a bit short. Fifth shot comes up just short, so that is going to be a bogey. Uh, that'll put us back to an even par. So two pretty poor shots on that hole. Uh, leads to a bogey. We go wide of the fairway here on the first shot. Oh, that was a great shot from uh, Kyra. Where did we end up? Are we in the... Ooh, ouch, ouch, ouch. In the sand. Lucky. Oh, you gotta make that putt. That was only a few feet away. It was about a 10-foot putt, and we missed it. It's gonna lead to our second straight boogie. That should have been a par. It's a par you gotta make. Just wide of the green on this one. Should be an easy par from here. Oh, made the putt for the birdie. Back to back to even for the round. So, while my putting hasn't been perfect, already we've saved a couple of strokes. Range here, 155 yards on that one. On the green and close. Within about 8 feet, 12 feet. And we made it. Birdie. We are below par. I haven't had a round below par yet. I've never seen a character below par. So lowering the difficulty from very hard to hard is 
gets it enough. Great second shot there. After a tough first shot with the irons. Put it in. Six feet. Yes. Okay. It's the ninth hole. What are we going to get for the front nine? Here we go. Second shot. Perfect. Oh, that is so close. Great chance for a birdie. Here it is. Six feet. Ooh, it's in. Minus two on the front nine. Minus two on the front nine. Can we keep it up in the back nine? Ouch. Rough second shot. We are in the sand. We're not that far out. So hopefully we can go up and down from here. Oh, no, no, no. We missed the short putt. We're going to lose a shot on this one. Back to minus one. We weren't able to go up and down. Relatively short putt, and we missed it. Good first shot. Got to play over the water, though. Way wide, and we're in the drink. Wow, this is a par five, though. On the green. But we're probably a two putt from here. Which means we'll be another bogey. Back-to-back -back bogeys here to start the back nine. to even. We're at plus one. Why are we plus one? That was our sixth shot on a par five. It said it was a par five. It must have been a par four. Uh, I have seen that before. I've had one hole that was clearly a par three and it said it was a par five in the top corner. right here it said par 5 but clearly the hole was designed as a par 3 uh, that looked like a par 4 to me so we hit a 6 and we ended up with a plus 2 so uh, not just back to back bogeys that was a double bogey 2 feet to finish the par so we just missed a birdie on that hole but at least we've finally recovered a little bit and we are Got back to uh, par on a hole after two pretty bad holes. That was a great first shot here. Good second shot as well. And we remain on the fairway in close range. This should be... Uh, this should have been closer than that, but uh, it's playable. Right on the fringe, just about. We do chip it from there, though. This is a par 5. So we've got a good shot at birdie, don't we? I think we're on our fourth shot. No, fifth shot. I don't know where we got five shots from. I thought that was our fourth shot. Okay, a little long there. We're on the edge, though. Definitely the best of the three players on our lie here. Third shot, and it's in. Long putt for birdie. Back to even for the round. Uh, we're well back of Kyron Mansfield, uh, but only a little behind Kira Sakoto. Good first shot. Kira and I are, I know, Kyron and I are in the exact same spot. Second shot, though, in the sand. Decent recovery shot, considering how bad we are. Ah, oh, couldn't sink the putt, though. It's a 15-footer. Plus one. A little long here, but in a good spot. 
Probably not birdie though, should be an easy par. Another birdie for Kyron. Okay, we got it. Just plus one on the round. Heading to 18. Oh, I haven't looked at the leaderboard, so I don't know where the field is. But plus one is usually good enough for uh, being on track to make the cut. Great shot there. That was a great third shot. Uh, excellent chance at birdie. Excellent chance at birdie. Come on, this would make an even round. Get in the cup. Yes! Par for the round. Par for the round. And that actually equaled the cut up to Kyra's round. So, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Show me the leaderboard. No, apparently not. Here's the leaderboard so far. Are we in the top 70? No, we are not. But look how much closer I am uh, than ever before. Right now, tied for 103rd. Tied for 103rd. If you take out that one double bogey and the bogey the hole before, I mean, that's a minus three. Of course, you're not gonna... You're not gonna win them all, especially when you're not consistent. But look how much better I am than the bottom. This is where I was. This was me every round before 82 86 I was in the 80s almost every single round I think one of the best rounds I ever had was about a 77 in all of those tournaments that I simulated so will we make this cut I don't know we're a couple strokes down got a shot let's go to the next day Uh, statistically speaking, we're hitting 229 yards for that round. That's not too bad, especially when I'm only a 30 on power right now. Uh, driving accuracy was good in that round, so uh, the woods are working for us. Uh, greens, yeah, could be better, could be better, but 61% is not awful. Putting average, so much better. I was getting a 1.9 before. And scoring average again. I'm 10 strokes better than I was. So we just improved by 10 strokes. All right, here we go. Second round. Chance to make the cut. A little bit less wind today. And we are once again with Kira and Kyron. Uh, blue yet again today. Pretty good first shot. Second shot is the safe one. We don't make it to the green, uh, but we are nicely on the fairway. Uh, third shot left wanting. Wasted a shot. We could have been on the green. But should have par salvageable here. Kyron misses his putt. That was a nine footer and we were able to sink it. So it was only at about that six foot range before uh, that I was getting anywhere uh, with putts. Now I'm making nine and ten footers. Uh, we are on the green in two here. Should definitely hit par again, so we'll stay at, at even through two holes. Got to consider that a good start to the round. Ah, first shot in the rough. But a decent spot for an up and down. Not a very good chip. A bit long. It's going to be a difficult par shot here. 24 feet. Played it safe. 
It's close. It's a tap in, but it's going to be a bogey. So we go plus one. Hitting the danger zone. Second shot, a little wide. And the shallow rough. Great shot, though. Great third shot there. And that is close enough. We might be able to get a birdie here. Should be about 12 feet out. 15. And we make it. Birdie. Back to even par. Good through four. Take a glance at the standings right now. Uh, live update on the cut. Cut right now is minus three. So at the moment, cut is minus three. All right, this is shot number four. That's for par. So meanwhile. While the action continued, we managed a par for that hole. Another par three. Par threes have been dangerous for me uh, because you're starting with irons, and I'm not good at irons. So anytime I can get par uh, on a par three is going to be a victory. I'm not going to go uh, birdies on par threes very often at this point, and that is a par. So good through six. If I'm going to make the cut, though, it's got to be better than par. Good first shot. Great second shot. Really good chance at a birdie here. It's still maybe 12 feet out, 15 feet out. And it's in. Birdie. Minus one for the round and for the tournament. Just a couple strokes back of the cut at this point. Another par three. Terrible first shot. Good second shot, that's a very makeable par shot. Not extremely close though, it's 12 feet. But it's in. I I did go with the right choices. The wedges, the putting, and then trying to get what I could out of the woods to get at least decent drives. At least get them on the fairway. 24 footer we're gonna go close this will be a simple par putt so through the front nine minus one good first shot Oof, Karen's in a bit of trouble there Ooh, just off the fairway yeah, we messed that one up. This could cost us. Now it says par 5. I think this is the one that's actually a par 4. That was shot 5. So that was in 6. So do we go to even or do we go plus 1? We go to even. Okay. So that was a par 5, but we drop a stroke there. I don't remember where that extra shot came from. I counted one fewer than that. Okay on that second shot, but we are off the green a little bit. Great shot there. That wasn't us, though. This one is ours. All three players put it in the same spot. All three players looking at a birdie. See? Nope. That one's a par 4, not a par 5. Okay, that was the hole. So yes, it reads wrong. It's game plays as a par 4, even though it reads as a par 5. It does look like a par 4. It belongs as a par 4. Missed the putt. That's going to cost us one. And we go plus one. Back-to-back -back holes listed wrong. 
Labeled as par 5. We sunk it in 4, but it's only a par 3. It's version 1.0 of the game. But that's something you've got to get right. <laughs> Come on, Wolverine Studios. We need a patch fix for that. hit par again. We're plus one for the round. Uh, it is the 14th, so we need an update on that leaderboard. I am probably out of it now. Uh, I would imagine... Ooh, and the cut. Bad spot for the cut. It just went up into the minus four range. And a lot of good minus threes are going to miss out at this point. And that's not us. Okay, we're in a good position here. I don't know what shot we're on, but I think we might have a chance at a f four here. Out oh, there. Struggling on this hole. Still haven't had my shot. Bogeys for both of them. Ah, par for me. Yeah, well, at least it's a par. Ah, missed the fairway. This is where I struggle. Long again. So it's recovery shots. When I hit that rough. I do struggle, so we need to improve that recovery soon. Get in the hole. 15 feet? Yes! Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we missed fairway again. So we missed it here. That was a good third shot. And in four, so we made par. So decent recovery, but with only two holes to play. <laughs> and here's a par three, my nemesis. We're on the back of the green though, that should at least be a par. 20, 20 or so feet out, 24 feet. Oh, we made it! Birdie, back to even for the round. With one to play, and it's par five, and it's par five that can be a birdie, but we missed a nice wide fairway. So we missed it the second time. <laughs> and are we in the sand or are we in the rough? Sounds like the rough, but there goes our birdie chance as we are not on the green at this point. Close enough on that fourth shot though. Nine feet out. Ah, oh, we missed it too. So we're gonna finish plus one for the round and that's gonna be plus one for the tournament as we are gonna just miss, just miss the cut. Well, actually about more than just miss, but compared to any other round that I've had, that's a just miss. So 73 for the round. Uh, bogey on the last hole hurt us. So we had four bogeys on the day, three birdies on the day. But that is by far the most consistent, the best that we've been. Took four episodes. Took dropping the difficulty level by one. Uh, but we're doing okay. So driving distance pretty close to the same. Driving accuracy dropped a little bit that round. Greens in regulation, that dropped quite a bit though. We were at 60% before, so that did hurt. Uh, putting average stayed the same, and that's where, definitely where we got the extra stroke was in the, uh, the greens. All right, well, cut is missed. We did not earn the money, but we still have a decent amount of cash to improve. So hopefully next week we can pick up a couple more strokes. Uh, it looks like I need to invest in the recovery a bit more and uh, get whatever we can get. Uh, if we could pick up just a few more strokes, I think we can just hit a cut and then with that cash, continue to train, continue to improve, get better and start making cuts consistently. We might just make it. We might just survive 
this time. So the frustration of very hard hopefully is behind us and hard is challenging, but I think it might just be doable. Well, that does it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer, and remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe, and tune in next time on my road to the record. Bye for now.